Hey, do you hear anything? I mean, besides the wind. Now that you mention it, I can hear something. I'm not sure what it is. What the? Ah! He just came out of nowhere and attacked us! It looks like we're going to have to take them down. Battle stations, let's go! Unlike your primitive ship, our vessel can fly at high altitudes. Behold the power of the East! It appears that Yafutolan ships can climb to great altitudes. Our cannons can't reach them. Vice, our cannons may not be able to, but I'll bet that our torpedoes can. We should be firing those as often as possible.
What appears to be the enemy's flagship is approaching. There are two boats. Wow. No, one boat. No, there's two, I think. Looks like they're planning to board us. All hands on deck! Westerners, we've been waiting for you. Who are you? My name is Zhao. My name is Mao. It is our mission to collect 1,000 swords. So, you must pick one of two choices. Surrender and give up your weapons. Or die and we take your weapons. It is up to you to decide your fate. How about we kick your butts and toss you overboard? Besides, you guys are unarmed. What can you possibly do to us? If that is your decision, then we must kill you now. Westerners, you are stronger than we thought. We must report this to our commander. We roll the skies of Yafutoma, and we are known as Tenku. Westerners, we shall meet again. they fly so high? Blue Moonstones hold the powers of wind and water. The Yafutoman ships are powered by these stones. By harnessing the power of the wind, their ships can reach altitudes that we can only imagine. Well, looks like we chased them off for now. We should try and find Yafutoma. Thank <laughs> you. 
that was easy. Let us pray that our next battle goes as well. The water is so clear. It's beautiful. I wonder where we are. Huh? Wow. That ship. It's so huge. Are those Westerners? They dress funny. Hey, look! Their hair isn't black! I wonder what they eat to make their hair that color. <laughs> My hair is really going to stand out over here. Invaders! Why have you come to Yafutoma? These lands are protected by Mount Kazai and the Blue Moon. Under the sovereign reign of Lord Mikado, invaders will be punished. Yafutoma? Is this really Yafutoma? Yes, you have invaded Yafutoman lands. We did it! We did it! We're in Yafutoma! Well done, Vice. Yeah. This will be recorded in the history books. How dare you invade our lands! I shall strike you down where you stand! Wait! Don't attack them! Visitors, our primary responsibility is to defend Yafutoma. Please forgive our rush to arms. Lord Mikado has said that he would like to speak with you. Please, if you would come with me. Lord Mikado... I suppose that he is probably the king of these lands. We should follow him. So, oh, you come from the land where the sun sets. Welcome to Yafutoma. My daughter, Meiji, has always been intrigued with the West. Haven't you, my dear? Yes, father. Please, I would love to hear all about your homeland. And if there is anything that we can do for you, just ask. Sure, but I don't want to be too much of a burden. King Mikado, as an advisor of the royal court, I must say that I am opposed to the idea of foreigners entering our lands. Foreigners have only brought us disaster. We must cleanse them from our lands immediately. I agree with my father. The Westerners can only bring us trouble. We should dispose of them at once. They are our guests. We must welcome them. They can teach us a great deal about the West, and there is much we can teach them as well. But I would like to know why you have traveled to Yafutoma. We're searching for the moon crystals to prevent our enemies from using them to destroy the world. The blue crystal. Mm. I think you are referring to the jewel that has the powers of the blue moon. The object you are searching for lies underneath Mount Kasai. Here in Yafutoma, we refer to the object as the Maga Sphere. Mount Kasai is considered by our people to be a holy mountain. 
and deep within the mountain lies an azure-colored jewel. Our ancestors passed the jewel to the successors of their throne. After the cataclysm, the jewel was sealed inside Mount Kasai. An azure-colored jewel? Vice! That has to be the moon crystal! At one time, Mount Kasai was a volcano, and there was no known way inside. The Magosphere has been lost since the days of the Old World. If you were to retrieve it for us, we would be eternally grateful. So, the Magosphere is at the bottom of that huge mountain? Leave it to us. Don't worry, we'll get it back for you. Hey, it's a foreigner! Step right up for your tub ships. You can get on and off at a dock. You must be the Westerners they're all talking about. I'm Kirala. I'm the best builder in the country. So, what do you think of our town? I bet you don't see such fine structures in your country. You're right about that. What a difference between seeing something and only hearing about it. You've really got a fine looking town here. <laughs> do you really think so? Well, it sure warms my heart to hear you say that. Say, maybe I should go back west with you and visit your country. I could probably show you Westerners a thing or two that would really amaze you. Hey, what are you going to do about this place then? It's still under construction. <laughs> Not to worry. This is my own house. It was getting pretty old, so I decided to remodel. Well then, it's decided. I'll go back with you to your country and build all sorts of things for you. Incidentally, I have a little sister named Urala. You might want to give her a holler, too. Hey, these fish look delicious. They look like they've been properly dried, too. I wonder who they're for. Hmm, I wonder what this drink is made of. It doesn't smell quite like loca. And it's green, too. What's this? It almost looks like candy inside this small bottle. It's some kind of cloudy soup. It's brown, too. I don't know if I even want to try drinking some of that. It looks like Yafutomen is written from top to bottom. I wonder how you're supposed to read it, then. There's a river running through the middle of the room, and even a little water wheel. It's sort of relaxing. There's some sort of dark sauce inside here. I wonder what it's made of. It smells... sort of salty sweet. Oh, please, come in. What can I get you? Looks like they have waitresses in Yafutoma too. Wait, I'm sorry, we don't have anything like that on hand. <laughs> you misunderstood. We were talking about you. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I thought it was what you wanted to order. Don't mention it. We're the ones who should apologize. We're in a bit of a rush right now. 
but we'll come back some other time, okay? Uh, all right. Um, thank you for coming in. Say, are you by any chance Kerala's little sister? Y yes I am. But why do you ask? I thought so. Actually, Girella has decided to join our crew of our ship as a builder. We're wondering if you might be interested in joining our crew too. Me? B but unlike my sister, I'm not good for much of anything besides cooking. Cooking is a perfectly fine skill to have. How would you like to join our crew as a cook? S sure. Okay. If my sister's joining too. But are you sure I qualify for the job? Of course you do. You can make us all kinds of tasty Afutoman dishes. Well, um, uh, I'll really do my best. Thank you so much. I understand that you wish to go to Mount Kazai. Lord Mikado has commanded me to escort you. Before departing, would you like to buy some ship parts? Let me know when you are ready. We can start any time you wish. And then let's get going to Mount Kazai. I'll get the ship underway, so you guys can just sit back and take it easy. Oops, I almost forgot. If we're going inside Mount Kazai, I'd better take this along. Deep inside Mount Kazai is a cavern, and in some places there will be water. This underwater suit should come in handy. What? We have to go underwater? But I can't swim! Do not worry. As long as you're using the underwater suit, you should be fine. Just be sure to breathe normally. Well then, shall we be going? Make way for Mount Kazai! Wow, the water here is so calm. It looks like glass. It's hard to imagine that this was a volcanic area covered in lava at one time. What is that thing? What? It looks like a huge bird! That must be Blueheim. Blueheim? Yes. Blueheim was the Blue Gigas. It looks like Blueheim was trapped in the lava and encased in stone. If that thing ever got free, we'd be in trouble. The Gigas that you faced so far couldn't fly. I can't imagine how tough this one would be. We should secure the Blue Crystal as soon as we can. Let's go! What's this rock? It looks like some sort of switch. It looks like it triggered some sort of water release valve. Ah, I see. The switch is probably here to fill this area with water. Hmm.
Fighter Victory. It appears that this switch was here to fill this area with water.
victory.
righteousness be our shield. Shield of justice! So, this is the blue crystal. We finally found it. It's so beautiful. Rice, that's another crystal. You know what that means. It's time to celebrate! Yes. Actually, let's include Fina on this one. What? But I... I don't know what to do. Oh, don't worry about it. Just give it a try. Yay! Yay! <laughs> you have done exceptionally well. 
No one in Yafutoma has seen the Magosphere since the days of the Old World. You are the first to make it back from the depths of Mount Kasai. How can I repay you for risking your lives to recover it? Well, as we mentioned earlier, we were wondering if it would be alright if we borrowed it. It is the symbol of royal succession. I would like to keep it in my possession, at least while you remain in Yafutoma. Um, sure. Symbol of royal succession, huh? That makes sense why they want to keep it. Moegi, you're Lord Mikado's daughter, right? So does that make you the successor to the throne? Um... Well, thank you for retrieving the Maga Sphere. Let us begin the preparations for the feast. Make yourselves at home and enjoy the festivities. All right, that's more like it. I can't wait to taste the gourmet cooking of Yafutoma. We would be honored to join you, especially Eika. Princess. You must be very tired. You are welcome to stay in the royal guest house tonight. Thank you for escorting us. That was some of the best food I've ever had. And for some reason, I pictured these eating sticks to be much bigger. It took me a while to get used to them, though. I am very happy that you enjoyed yourselves. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
I heard everything. My name is Beleza, and it appears that we have a common enemy. <laughs> Good morning, Vice. Did you rest well? Yes. I slept like a rock. That was my first time sleeping on a... floor... mattress... thing. <laughs> I see. I'm glad you are comfortable. Lord Mikado? It's an emergency! Black ships have surrounded the city. And what appears to be their flagship is attempting to dock in our harbor. What? Black ships? Oh no! It must be the Armada! Vice, let's hurry back to the port! Father? Yes. Yes. I know. No! Beleza! And Vagoro? Well, well. Hello there, handsome. Haven't seen you in a while. Wow. Hey! Red! It looks like fate has brought us together again. Oh no! What's he doing here? It's so cute how she pretends that she doesn't want me. Come aboard my ship! Maybe the two of us can rock the boat? Vigoro, please. We are in the presence of Prince Enrique. Prince Enrique, I trust you are in good health. If you are wondering how we got here, we blasted a hole in the stone reef near Ixataka and traveled west. Our goal is the same, my prince. We also seek the blue crystal. What? Beleza, do you plan to burn down Yafutoma as well? Relax, handsome. As I told you before, I am against unnecessary destruction. We have no intention of fighting with you. We were merely planning to dock and speak with the king of these lands. You are wasting your time. King Mikado is an honorable man. There's no way he would strike a deal with the Valuan Armada. We'll see about that. Everyone has their limits, their codes, their morals. But everyone also has weakness. If you find that weakness and exploit it, those limits, codes, and morals seem to fade away. I'd love to chat longer, but I have an appointment with the king. Stay out of our way. Vice! Shouldn't we stop them? Sorry, but there's nothing we can do right now. There's no way we can take on all these soldiers. We can't even get to the Delphinus right now! Beleza and Vigor are here as Imperial representatives. Attacking them during a diplomatic meeting would make us criminals. Let's return to our quarters. There, we will wait until they have concluded their talks. No! I will never let the Valuans occupy Yafutoma! But, King Mikado, you do realize that your country's pitiful army wouldn't last a day against the Armada. To prevent unnecessary bloodshed, I recommend that you surrender. We will never surrender. We will never hand Yafutomo over to a band of bloodthirsty warlords like yourselves. We are protected by the Blue Moon. In the past, whenever our country was threatened, the Blue Winds came to our aid and saved our lands. If you attack us, the winds will blow you into the Dark Rift. Valua will never occupy Yafutoma. Do you hear me? Never! I'm sorry that you didn't see things our way. 
It appears that this meeting is at an end. Then I will gain possession of Yafutoma by my own means. What sort of treachery is this? <laughs> if you do not keep quiet, you'll be a head shorter. Mirachi, you traitor! Beleza, in accordance with our meeting last night, this country will fall under the rule of the Baluan Empire. Kangan, what are you saying? King Mikado, as Lady Beleza stated, we have no hope of winning a war against Balua. To save our people, we shall usurp your power and assume our role as leaders of Yafutoma. Wow! Beleza? I'm glad we're on the same side. Don't relax yet, big guy. Not while the kid is still around. Take King Mikado prisoner and find those air pirates. It seems like they've been talking forever. Well, you know how formal those diplomatic talks are. It takes forever for them to decide who gets to sit down first. Everyone, quickly! You must get out of here! Princess Moegi? What happened? Kangan and Mirachi have betrayed us. My father has been taken prisoner. It was Beleza's doing. What? Beleza? My figures. She probably met with those two before the meeting and had the whole thing planned out. Vice, what should we do? I'm sorry, but we have to run for now. Beleza has probably already convinced the Yafutoman guards that we are criminals. I agree. We should run for now and figure out what to do next. Very well, then. Quickly, follow me. We can escape from the palace this way. Hurry! Incredible! I can't believe how high we are! Yeah, the powers of the blue moon are amazing! We will be safe here. It's great that we escaped from the guards, but now what do we do? There is an ancient temple on a small island to the north. My brother, Daigo, should be there. What? <gasps> you have a brother? Yes. Yes? He is the true heir to the throne. A long time ago, my brother directly disobeyed my father's orders. He was exiled from Yafutoma and sentenced to live on the island. Marooning him on an island was kinda harsh, don't you think? My brother had a tendency to go out sailing on his own and disregard his duties as prince. But I don't think that my father should have disowned him. I think that Mirashi and Kangan convinced my father to exile him. With my brother out of the way, they have a chance of taking over Yafutoma. That makes sense. Vice, it looks like we have no other choice. It looks like we're going to have to rely on Daigo. Yeah. Princess Moeki, do not worry. We will save the people of Yafutoma. And your father. Prince Enrique, thank you. You can reach my brother's island by heading north from here.
Westerners, it appears that we meet again. Ah, not them again. What are you doing here? This is the headquarters of the Tenko. It was very foolish for you to come here. The time has come for us to finish you. Halt! Joe, Mo, 
Who is there? Lord Daiko, these are the Westerners that dare to defy us. They come through the Dark Rift. I'm Vice of the Blue Rogues. Are you the leader of the Tinku? Daigo! What? He's your brother? Huh? This is Prince Daigo? Moegi! How have you been? I never would have thought that you would bring foreigners to my temple. I never thought I would either. But what are the Tenku doing here? A long time ago, the twins challenged me to a fight. They wanted my sword, so I beat them senseless. And for some strange reason, they pledged their loyalty to me. I've been their leader ever since. And I figured, as their leader, I could control them a little, so they'd stop attacking everyone. Besides, <laughs> who else do you know that has twin bodyguards? <laughs> Moegi, is he really your brother? It's hard to imagine that the two of you are related. I know he is a prince, like Enrique, but it seems that princes in the Afutoma act differently than princes in Valoa. But what is the purpose of your visit, Moegi? His father changed his mind? Daigo... he... What's wrong? Did something happen to him? Kangen... that little runt! How could he backstab our father and hand our country over to the Valuans? Daigo... Moegi... I'm sorry. If I was still there, this would have never happened. When I was exiled, I welcomed the freedom. I disregarded all of my duties and did whatever I wanted here in the temple. But now my people need me. I must go back there and reclaim my title as Prince of Yafutoma. Vice, I can't thank you enough for saving my sister. Now, I must get ready for battle. I will fight against Valua and give Yafutoma back to the people. I would be honored if you'd fight alongside me. Uh -huh. Of course we'll help. We share the same enemy. Excellent. We will fight together and reclaim Yafutoma and the Maga Sphere. Also, Lord Enrique, I heard that you defended my sister from Muraji. My family thanks you for your bravery. I did only what is expected of a gentleman. Think nothing of it. And Prince Daigo, I know how you feel. I, too, have been exiled from my lands. I wish to change the views of my country by changing the world around it. And that is why I wish to aid you, from one exiled prince to another. Also, the fleet that you're about to face, the Armada, was sent here by my mother. Empress Theodora. As a Valuan prince, it is my duty to stop them. This is not only your battle, it is mine as well. I understand. I will gladly accept your aid. Prince Enrique, you are a very noble man, much more noble than I. If a man such as yourself were to be at my sister's side, I would sleep well at night. Um, um, I, um... Tycho! And from the looks of it, the two of you wouldn't mind either. <laughs> hey. Now then, Vice, I need to prepare for the battle. Meet me at the port. We will depart for Yafutoma as soon as you are ready. Hey! You can't expect to fight in that ship. Come ride with me in my ship. All ships, prepare for battle. We must take back Yafutoma. Our scouts have reported that the Armada and the Afutoman fleet are patrolling Kazai Lake. Vice, your ship is also patrolling with the Armada. Now, it's personal. 
<laughs> I understand your frustration. If we can get your ship back, we can win this battle. The Tenko will attack the Armada from the front to keep them distracted. While they're keeping the Armada busy, I want you to get the Delphinus back. Without the Delphinus, we don't stand a chance. Sounds like a plan. All right, men, get ready. Let's show them what the Tenko can do. Like our pirate friends want some action. Things just got a little more interesting. I'm coming for you, Red. Soon you'll be all mine. <laughs> the Westerners' ship is very nice. Very nice. I think I'm going to enjoy this. But I never dreamed that I would be able to kill Prince Dago so soon. Now Mogi will be mine for sure, as well as the throne! <laughs> I'm sorry, handsome. Hey, handsome. I didn't want to have to fight you. But, for Valua and Lord Galshian, I must. Ten Q ships, straight ahead! They're in range of our cannons! Alright everyone, listen up. This is it. If we win this battle, we will rule the East. Let them feel the power of the Valuan Armada. Fire at will. So far, the battle is even. We're more maneuverable, but we can't seem to break their lines. Lies, keep an eye out for your ship. It's gotta be around here somewhere. All right. Uh -huh. Everyone, be ready for action. When we find the Delphinus, let's take it back. Air pirate style. How fares the battle? My lord, the Tenko are swarming all around the Valuans, but the Armada is holding their position. We seem to be at a stalemate. <laughs> I see. Very well. It is time for us to join the battle and end this, once and for all! We can't break their lines and our ships are taking serious damage. I don't think we can take much more of this. I'm going to give the signal to retreat. Today, Valua has won. Hmm. My lord, a ship fitting the description of Captain Vice's ship is heading our way. What? Are you sure? Yes, my lord. I'm positive it's the Delphinus. Daigo, if you can get us close to the Delphinus, we can take it back and win this thing! We're air pirates, remember? We do this stuff all the time. All you have to do is get us close. <laughs> I see. On you, okay, Vice. You got it. We're going to have to jump to the deck! Huh? It's okay. I got you, Fina. I'll be right behind you. I guess they were expecting us. Let's throw these goons off of our ship.
righteousness be our shield. Shield of justice! Safety. Miraji, we'll be taking back our ship now. D do you think I'm afraid of you? You aren't so tough. Why are you fools just standing there? Get them! You betrayed those that trust you and needlessly endangered the lives of innocent people. All for your own personal gain. For the honor of Princess Moleki and for the people of Yafutoma. I will strike you down! Face my blade, coward!
it over already? Uh, I... No! Uh, I... Uh, help! Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you back your ship! Just, just spare my life! Please, let me live! You're too pitiful for me to run you through. I'll spare you, but you'll pay for all your treachery. Alright, we got the Delphinus back. Now, let's even the odds. There's a ship coming in from the starboard side. It's coming in fast! There's something about it that disgusts me. That ship. It's the Draco. It's Vigoro's ship. Talk about trying to compensate! That guy's got a complex! The Armada is being led by Beleza and Vigoro. If we can take out their ships, the rest of them will fall. Our next target, the Draco! Hey, Vice! My cannon's bigger than yours! <laughs> now, feel the destructive power of my ship, the Draco! This is more like it! A face-to-face -face confrontation! This is how real men should fight! Wow. 
I knew the Delphinus was powerful, but damn, that thing's strong. But that will make my victory all the sweeter. I will prove that I am the strongest man in the world. I... I don't believe it! They've survived my Vigoro cannon! Beleza! I wouldn't expect anything less from you, handsome. Not even Vigoro could stop you. As an admiral in the Valuan Armada, I shall defeat you. What? What was that? Ah! Vice, look! <laughs> Soon, I shall be rid of both the Westerners and the Tenko! Go, Blueheim! Blow them out of the sky! This must be the blue wind that the king was talking about. The winds are too strong. Our ships are losing control. We can't hold our formations! If this keeps up, all of our ships will be destroyed. I didn't want to do this, but we have no choice. All ships retreat. It's Bloheim! We might be able to take him on with the Delphinus! I really hope so. It doesn't look like we have much of a choice. All right, everyone, let's go. It's up to us. Bluheim is the blue gigas. It will most likely attack with wind and wave attacks. Well, we don't have much time to think of a plan at this point. So we'll just have to look for a weakness as we fight it.
can't believe how fast that thing is. I never thought something so big could move so fast. All right! We got thrown back a little bit, but we're still in attack position. Yeah, it looks like the ship can handle that big bird's wind attack if we just brace ourselves for it. Enough talk, everyone. Now is our chance. Vice, we await your commands.
stone cannon. Fire! I can't believe it. The air pirates defeated Blueheim. I need to get out of here. Huh? Kangan, you cannot escape. Surrender or die. I, I surrender. Brave adventurers from the West, I thank you for saving Yafutoma. But it was my country that caused all of this. I am terribly sorry for all of the trouble caused by the Valuans. I don't know how I can make it up to you. Prince Enrique, please, raise your head. Dago has explained everything to me. You feel responsible because you are a Valuan prince. But it is not your fault. Thank you for understanding. But we have only won the battle. As we speak, the Armada is regrouping. Until Valua sets itself back down the path of righteousness. I will continue to fight them. I see. Very well then. I will pray for your well-being. And perhaps, the Magosphere will aid in your fight. Take it with you. Really? Are you sure it's okay? Didn't you say it's necessary in appointing a successor to the throne? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Even without the symbol, I have an accomplished successor already. I have also decided to return to my father and accept the responsibility of defending my people. That's great! Hey! What happened to Kangan and Miraji? They were exiled to Tenko Island. We figured that if they spent some time in exile, they'd realize what they've done and become better people. Or kill each other. <laughs> I like that plan. Serves them right. That reminds me. I noticed that your ship isn't capable of going to great heights or depths. Here, take this with you. This is from my people. It contains all of the knowledge necessary to enable your ship to fly higher or lower than you've ever imagined. Wow! Thank you! I'll make sure to put it to good use. Father, I have something to ask of you. I... Please, let me go with these people. What? If what they say is true, then there are matters of great importance occurring in the West. You and Daigo both said you will stay here to protect our country. But I am helping to defend our country by helping these people on their quest. Hmm. Well said, Moegi. I am proud to have you as a sister. Prince Enrique, I speak to you not as a fellow prince, but as a brother concerned for his sister's well-being. Please take care of her. You have my word. I will defend her with my life. Princess, let us join forces and return peace to this world. Yes. Prince Enrique, I entrust my life to you. Very well then. It appears I do not have much choice in this matter anyway. 
Enrique, you're getting much more reliable by the minute. You seem like a different person. <laughs> Just until recently, all I ever saw of you was the back of your head leaning over the railing of the ship. <laughs> Aika! Do you have to constantly remind me about that? <laughs> <laughs> She's right, Enrique. All right, yes. let's go home. <laughs>